I have been researching algae for the past few months and I've finally gotten some bottles of Nanochloropsis algae and so now I am putting them into vessels so then they can grow. I'm choosing these uh, small necked gallon jugs and uh, what I did is in this vase right here I uh, filled it full and added salt and then used this little salt reader that you just float in here and then it'll read out on the numbers on the side of uh, what the salinity is and um, I'm shooting for 1.018 to 1.012 and that is the range that you want the salinity for this nanochloropsis algae although that method is not very accurate so I am just hoping that my margin of error that the algae is okay with a small margin of error so I have added salt and I'm now pouring a half gallon of that salt mixture into a gallon jug I'm gonna pour more of that salt solution into my measuring Pyrex measuring cup up to the two two quart mark. I'm gonna pour out a little bit of it because I just went a little over. And then I'm gonna pour the rest of this into a gallon jug and you don't want to fill it too full because when you pour your high density um, algae culture in there will be a bit of uh, water displacement that you have to account for so next is the process of fertilizing your algae. Now I've got this small syringe that I, um, I've i got this F2 formula algae fertilizer and then uh, you suck up for this gallon you want to suck up about You want it to be halfway in your vessel. So you want it for a gallon. This um, F2 fertilizer will. For, you need one milli one and a half milliliters. So then we take that fertilizer and squirt it into the gallon jug. Put away our syringe and then cap off our F2 fertilizer. Okay, so now we're going to start pouring our algae in. It's a phytoplankton. So we're going to pour it into that jar. And I got mine from Merck of Montana on Amazon. And um, this is Nanochloropsis oculeta. And uh, yeah, it's a. I'm going to try making biodiesel out of it. This is a jar of salt that I used. So now, what you do is you basically pour this in, this uh, high density culture, into your jug. Um, until it's a light green and uh, I've already used up about two-thirds of each of these bottles on two other gallon jugs which I'll show you, you in the next clip and so uh, first of all you want to make sure that it's all well mixed in there's none settled at the bottom and then you pour it in like that 
And then you've got our second bottle. Gotta make sure to shake it up. And then pour it in to our gallon jug. And that's about perfect. I, that's about where you want it just to allow for bubbling to happen. And this is um, denser than the other ones, slightly, I think. No, it's about the same. So, yeah, there you go. That's how you um, culture algae. Make sure everything is sterile. I sterilized everything. You can sterilize it with vinegar or um, vinegar or rubbing alcohol before. Just want to rinse it out afterwards. I am not using distilled water. We'll see how that goes. Most pe Some people use distilled water. Some just use tap water. Although our water is filtered, but not using reverse osmosis. So it does have some of the minerals in it. So we'll see how that goes. And uh, the next step is to then take this and hook it up to a bubbler, which I'll show in the next clip. Okay, so now I'm going to set up these two bottles with a bubbler, with the same bubbler this one has because it's a little bit too many, too much bubbling. So I've got this small little pump over here, air pump, that I salvaged out of an old printer that I uh, am using to supply air to these bottles. So first what you want to do is drill a hole in the cap of the bottle or you can buy a rubber stopper at a hardware store and so what I've done is I put these two bottle caps for these ones in a vinegar solution to disinfect them and now I'm going to take them out of that solution what you do is, uh, is I have these old pipettes that um, were used back in the day and they're basically rigid plastic um, tubing and so then we can get the bottles bubbles all the way to the bottom so what you do is you push these through the caps of your jars and just like that, one, excuse me for that horrible noise. Okay, so now that you have your different little pipettes in the uh, or rigid plastic tubing in, you want to trim it to length. Just like I'm doing. I'm going to stop this motor for a second. There. Take off that plastic tubing. This one I still haven't trimmed quite right yet. Okay. So now you've got three bottles with the tubing sticking out. And then. I have this little valve juncture that I am going to be using. I've been plugging this one up recently. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece of plastic, flexible plastic tubing, and I am going to get my knife or scissors, whatever you prefer, and I'm going to cut it in half. like so. So, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fit it over each of the rigid plastic tubing pieces like that. And then I'm going to take this little juncture here and fit this last 
piece of tubing over the middle one and then take this one put it over that and I will eventually zip tie these in place or wire them in the case of these two so then you have it oriented just like this and then I'm going to take our small little pump air pump and it just so happens that the little piece of hosing that came with this little air pump fits inside the diam fits in the ID or inner diameter of this hosing perfectly and this is kind of rubbery so it makes a seal and then uh, there we go we have our tubes all hooked up I will plug in I also salvaged from our electronic scrap pile on James Ranch here a uh, DC, AC DC converter it converts it to 7.5 volts at 900 milliamps and through trial and error I figured out that that works great and doesn't fry the transformer or the motor for this motor that way you don't have to like use a battery for a long time and gets really expensive so There we go. Well, this is leaking slightly. Just don't think that this little pump is powerful enough to do all three of these. So I'll have to order a new pump. Well, trial and error. At least I got one of them working. Alright, well we'll see you next time. I'll do a little update on these when I get the new pump. And uh, when hopefully their cultures start make densifying. And that's totally a word.